Hi everyone, I just on here to make this video. I got another package and I got this from Nails Infinity and so I want to go ahead and open that here with you and see what I got. So I received this not too long ago and um, it is another contest that I entered. So I also went on to her website before she sent off my package and uh, I also ordered um, another set as well. So I wanna show you what I got in it. Okay, so here's the contents. Let me get it out here. I think something kind of stuck here. All right, the first thing is an instruction card. Step-by-step -step instructions. Oh, I like that QR code on how to apply your um, nails. So this is from Nails Infinity. I found her through Instagram as well. And her page, I'll just go ahead and spell that out for you. It's N-A-I-L-Z underscore I-N-F-I-N-I-T-Y. So there's that, how to remove and then how to apply. So there's that right there. So actually, I'm going to kind of use that because I have some on here and I put these on a few days ago. So I'm going to try to remove some of those as well. Okay. Okay, actually, I'm sorry. I don't remember what I actually... This is what I got in there. And it's taped up with bubble wrap. And as you guys know, I like things that are packaged because you don't want to damage the item, break the item when it gets to your customers. So this... And you see that bottle there. Okay, so this, I think it says, um, I think it's 10 milliliter. So the ingredients, water, nails, infinity, special blend, fragrance, pink color additive, allergy warning, this NI, Q, S, R, S, and cuticle oil pens contain nuts. And there's her little logo on there. So this is what's going to help me remove these. And it's supposed to be very helpful. She has a video on her website. And as usual, I'm going to go ahead and put all her contact information in my description of this video and I will also put some of her social platforms. So I know she has, let me see, I wrote this down. She has uh, Instagram, as you guys know, Facebook, TikTok, Twitter, YouTube, and then she also has on her website her email so you can contact her. I actually um, DM'd her through Instagram while we were doing this um, when I had questions on my order. So she's very good at responding as well. So the other thing in here that I got is 
her cuticle oil pen. And then, so you just open this side. And this is the brush tip here. And this is the side that you would turn, twist up so it can disperse the oil through the top. And it has a lid, so that's cute and perfect because who doesn't need cuticle oil? You're supposed to use cuticle oil at least every day so you can take care of your cuticles. All right, and here are her business cards information. And this one just says, thank you for your purchase. Bougie baby. <laughs> I like that. That's cute. And then again, her QR code. And these are some other items that she probably has on her website. And then so it says, um, there's a code there for my next purchase right there too. So I pretty sure I'm going to use that because I actually seen some other stuff and I'll tell you also what is on her website so you kind of get a feeling of what she has on there. So here's another card. So this is all her socials, like I said, Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, and then her email and another QR code. So very simple and straight to the point of what she does with her um, business. So the thing I did order is another pair of press-ons. Look at that, that's really cute. Simple, cute, to the point. And I'm not gonna open this right away, but I can already feel that there's some um, things in the back, so I'm pretty sure it's like a, um, I can see from the side there's a nail glue in here. So basically to help with your application with this. Those are cute. I was thinking for Christmas to wear those. And I didn't know this was going to be in the package as well. Cute little jar. Let me see if I can open that. And then it looks like a little sugar scrub or it might be a lip scrub. Very cute. Definitely will use that. Okay, so what we're gonna do, gonna hurry up and try to read this before it's time. So using this, it says number one, shake well. So we'll go ahead and shake that. Number two, apply solution around the cuticle area and the underside of the nails. So I'm gonna open that up. I'm just doing this at my table. So around the cuticle area and the underside is what I'm doing. Doing that, the underside cuticle, underside, and around the cuticle, the underside. I'm just going to do one side because this is my dominant hand that I'm working on, or I'm working with my dominant hand, so it's going to be easier. And it says wait a few seconds and a couple minutes to a couple minutes. And it says the removal time may vary depending on the adhesive used for press on application. Okay, and then we're gonna go to step four. It says begin removal process. Use a nail tool like a cuticle pusher, orange wood stick Place between natural nail and press on. Remove the nail. Repeat step four until all nails have been removed. So let's go ahead and do that. And if I 
went on her website or her Instagram, she actually has a video of this. And I think also on her YouTube. So I'm gonna go ahead and try that here. I'm just gonna go around it first. Okay, it's coming up. I don't feel any pinching or anything, so that's good. Because you don't want to, like, try to force it off. And then that one just has a little bit more put there. I'm going to let that sit for a little bit more. side. I hope I'm in frame. I always tend to pull towards myself while I'm trying to do something with my nails so I can see it better. Okay, it is coming off. I just need to work on this side. So basically what you're trying to do is not tear or ruin or damage your actual nail. Okay, so there's one. And then I'll just clean it up later. I don't know if I got this one too good. I might have to put some more on this one. And I also noticed, I went to her website before I started this video, that you can order this by itself or she has a kit. And the kit includes a um, cuticle pusher and it comes with a nail file and um, something else as well as that. Okay, I'm gonna let that one sit again and I'll kind of work my way around through these other ones. But basically you get the point um, to get these off. And um, there's other techniques as well as how to remove um, your press-ons or any type of application of your uh, what do you call it, your nail enhancements, so you don't do damage to your natural nails. So you just want to follow the instructions as best as you can and get those removed. And always try to use your dominant hand first to remove the other side and then it gets easier to use your, and then you'll switch and do your non-dominant hand. So. Okay, and there's my second one there. So, no damage. And that's what you're trying to not do, is damage your nails. And I got these nails put on a few days ago. And the reason why I'm taking it off is because I actually have something going on tomorrow and I can't have long nails when I have that going on tomorrow. But I plan on because these nails are reusable that 
I'm going to reuse them when I put them on. But before you do that, you also want to re like clean your nails and re clean these as well before you put them on. Oh, that one came off when I put a little bit more on there. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna do the one side for the sake of the video not being too long. I try not to make the videos too long so we can, you know, you can watch the video and keep going, but sometimes that just doesn't happen in real time. And like I said, I don't edit my videos just because I want it out there really quick. And I like how the tip is. It's kind of like pointed, so it's easier to get in between the nails. So kind of wiggle that around. I can tell it's loosening up. I just need to work on it a little. Okay. Sorry, I think I'm going to have to do this one just a little bit out of the frame. So let me go ahead and work on it so I can see what I'm doing a little bit closer to my eyes. Okay, it's getting a little bit looser. Again, you don't want to tug too hard or pull on it because you don't want to make your nails rip or tear or anything like that because when that happens, it's going to be hard to care for any nails and, you know, the healing process is going to be hard when you do that. So please be very careful doing your nails. Okay, I almost got it. I have like a little piece right in the corner. And I'm going to put a little bit more of this in there. Okay, I'm just going to kind of move it around in there so it kind of soaks it up. Honestly, I should soak it for a couple minutes first, but for the sake of the video and well, they weren't they were already kind of coming off, so I didn't have to worry about it too much about soaking, but that one was a little bit harder because I think the nail bit is a little bit bigger on here. Okay, so now those have all came off and this is awesome. If anything you can use like this that she made to make life easier to take them off is great. And you can tell it's a really big bottle and I didn't hardly use any for my nails for one side. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and go to the next step. It says, rip oh, sorry, I, that was step five. Okay, so number six, it says, remove any excess solution with your fingers with a wipe. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Okay. Uh, number step seven says buff the nails. And then this is just the resin, or, um, the leftover from applying my nails on there that's coming off. That's not my nail. 
just in case you're wondering what that is. So basically I'm not really filing my real nails down. Okay, so that's what I'm gonna do. That's pretty much the end of the process. And the last couple steps, um, one, uh, number eight, it says apply cuticle oil. And then you can use the NIQSRS. I hope I'm saying that right. The NIQSRS remover um, kit. Uh, like I said, this also comes in a kit. It comes with a cuticle pusher and a buffer and another thing or two in it. Uh, so that kit is suggested for aftercare. And then a helpful tip that she also put on there is heat the solution by running the bottle under warm water before um, applying it. Which I should have did, but it still worked without it so I think that's also kind of a personal preference maybe next time when I do have to take off my press-ons I will run the bottle under the water under warm water so yeah again I'll put her I put, I'll put all her um, social media accounts in the description and the things that I, uh, this is a thing that I purchased and all this other stuff of what I put in there. So basically everything that I got from her in this video and always she, when I was messaging with her back and forth, she did give me tracking information. The shipping was really fast. It just took me a while to get this video out because I wanted to have nails first before I showed you guys how to use this. So yeah, pretty simple, straightforward um, use, nothing too difficult to do. And, um, and also I'm going, like I said, I'm going to wear these for Christmas. And I'm probably going to use some other press-on nails as well in the future. And I will definitely use her solution there. And it has actually a little hint of smell in there. And it's not too bad. Very helpful. Okay, so I'm going to do the rest of my other nails off camera so I'm gonna go ahead and cut this video here so I hope you guys have a good weekend and don't forget to subscribe comment anything you have on this let me know if you do check out any of her socials um, she's always posting things that she has up in her uh, website so I have a little sticky here of what she has on her website so obviously she has press-ons so she has custom ones that you can um, do and then she has some pre-made ones and then also this NIQ SRS kit and um, so basically that's the press-on remover and then, so in her custom nails, you can get different sizing, so different lengths and shaping. And then um, she also has the prep kits to put on the nails. And then she has cuticle oil pens. So a few of these ones. And I noticed on that there's unscented and then she has some holiday scented ones as well. So please go check out her website. And take a look around at her artwork on there. I saw some and there, there's actually some Christmas holiday ones. And, you know, there's 
everything in between. So go check it out, guys. I will let you go, and you guys have a good weekend.